Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. This week is our Painter's Flower Week. Instead of making paper flowers, we are going to show you how to make a palm tree leaf inspired by MC Asher. In this project, I'm going to show you how to make our leaves from scratch. We will show you how to draw this template as well. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our new tutorials. To begin, you will need a protractor. I know most of us will not have this at home, so my trick is to print one at home. As long as the proportion is accurate, your printed protractor will be good enough for this project. Take your protractor onto a A2 size white paper card at the bottom center. If you can get a A1 size, it's preferable, so you don't need to worry about drawing out of the paper. We start at 100 degrees. Mark at 9 cm from the center and the second marking at 30 cm from the center. Do the same to every 10 degrees between 40 degrees to 140 degrees which means 40 degrees, 50 degrees, 60 degrees, up to 140 degrees. Then we mark 9 cm at every 5 degrees, which means from 5, 10, 15 to 175 degrees. If you struggle to understand what I'm saying, I'll put up a diagram on our website to show you in detail. Now we can join the dots together to form a palm leaf shape. We join the top dot between 40 degrees to 140 degrees with a 9 cm dot on both sides. So our leaves is formed by multiple diamond shapes. Once we have done the leaves between 40 degrees to 140 degrees, we have to reduce the length of the leaves gradually. After you have done a full 180 degrees, we need to flip the protractor to finish the second half of the circle. Try to match the center point of the protractor to get the most accurate result. We continue using the same method to cover the full 280 degrees. Link all the lines to the center. Use your protractor to draw your stem. Your palm leaf template is done. Now we use some masking tape to attach another card at the bottom so your paper are not moving about. Put a cutting board at the bottom. Take out your scalpel and start trimming. We will show you two ways to make this palm leaf. MC Asher used a lot of woodcut in his work and lots of them are in black and white so I sprayed my leaf in black Now we need to make a base to hide our wire stem Copy the rough shape of the palm leaf base Join the dots Cut the base out. If you do not have enough paper to make another leaf, you can use this method. Trim the base as close as possible to match with the palm leaf.
and trim the stem area out. Get three pieces of 18 gauge wire and wrap the wires together with some black crepe paper. Take out our leaf again and tape the wire stem in the middle. Cover the base with some PVA glue. And attach onto the back of the black leaf and let it dry. Second way of making Tape your template down onto a A1 size 250 gram green paper. Cut the leaf out accordingly. This time we are going to use the green paper as the stem. So we need to extend the stem as long as you want it. Tape two pieces of 18 gauge wire together. Use masking tape to secure the position of the wire. For this leaf, I'm using two different greens. So they will look more interesting when they are shaped. Fill the whole surface with PVA glue and don't miss out the leaves. Press your leaf down as much as you possibly can. Trim the leaf stem if necessary. The basic form of the leaf is done. You can choose either method to make your palm leaf. If you prefer your leaf in one piece, the green leaf method will be more suitable. The black and white method require less paper, but you may see the bottom base. Shaping time. Bend the base and the individual leaf gently Curl the leaf gradually so your leaf will ease into it, otherwise your paper will have lots of creases. Give the pressure with your whole palm. After I've shaped my black and white palm leaf, I'm thinking why did the optical illusion not happen? I've just realized I've forgotten the very important principle of light and shadow. White is representing light, black is representing shadow, the top always hit by the most light, so it does not make any sense when I place the black on the top. Once I've switched it around, the palm leaf is more visually effective. Make sure when you make yours, keep the lightest color on the top and the darkest at the bottom. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you will like it. If you like it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. It will really help our channel to grow. Stay tuned for our weekly tutorials. And check out this template in detail on our website. See you guys next week.